moment, what is the visual image that most electrified you? The visual image that most electrified me is that, you know, when the mother holds her baby for the first time and looks into the baby's eyes and there's that experience of touch and smell at that moment, that's the moment of bonding, that's the moment of connection, that's the moment when the biology is literally synchronized. Touch, sight, taste, smell, memory, emotions, autonomic function, hormones, they all synchronize to actually cause the development of self-repair mechanisms, what we call homeostasis, which is the very foundation of physical health. Within three months they are seeing, and mm -hmm. within six months, you say a few more months, they see as well as adults. Yes. And they see their own race mm -hmm. and come to prefer their own race yeah. because it is their mother's race. Yes. What do we do with that if that is a template in our brains? Well, it, that template is actually a protective template. It, uh, in ancient times, it protected us from predators and it uh, created communities and it created a social bond. Now, of course, as we are seeing a new generation of children who are cross-cultural. You know, I have a grandson who's uh, Chinese-American and half Indian. And, you know, he speaks English, he speaks Chinese, he speaks uh, Hindi, he speaks Spanish because he has a Spanish uh, babysitter. So we are seeing an entirely new generation of cross-cultural um, identity, which hopefully will heal the world because that's what we need. Otherwise, we'll keep having these terrorist attacks because they come from a limited, tribal, ancient identity which probably has no relevance in our time. So we are evolving. And, uh, you know, these babies uh, are also evolving and their brains are evolving, their genes are evolving. Everything is fluid. And, you know, when we recognize that, that every sound, touch, sight, taste, smell, it influences uh, what's happening in the biology and that the most important experience is attention, affection and appreciation. If you can remember those three A's and you know, put them in the context of love, uh, love can heal the world.